when it comes to cognitive intelligence in my view there are three primary use cases the first being expert guidance the real value is derived through expert guidance think of this as an expert uh, looking at the car and providing details on your maintenance activity based on actuals or providing predictive maintenance alert as you start driving the car the car should learn from your behavior and provide recommendations on your driving patterns and also provide suggestions to improve uh, your car mileage the second use case is personalization personalization is about providing uh, recommendations based on your data interaction with the car for instance uh, the car should be able to recognize you uh, through facial recognition car should be able to play your favorite uh, music station you should be able to speak or chat with your car through a natural language interface you might have bought a new car and want to understand all the features of the car you can ask question like uh, how many dual airbags are installed when is the next maintenance cycle and the car can even point out features of the car that you have an explored so far the third use case is the ecosystem use case i refer to this as connected the connected and connected the connected uh, use case is all about uh, using the car data for new innovative solution and the real value in a connected world would be derived from how the connected data would be used in context of other applications which provide new innovative business solutions for instance for a connected car solution the connected car data uh, can be used for uh, paper usage insurance uh, after sale services autonomous driving and so on next i'll talk about uh, general guidelines and how to build a connected iit car solution to realize various use cases like uh, condition based uh, maintenance or uh, driver behavior analysis so this slide is a high level interaction overview of various architecture components that i talked about in my first slide uh, from the connected car you can get the vehicle data which is comprised of on board uh, diagnostic information acceleration brake movements gps data and this data is continuously streamed to the iot platform you can also have a edge uh, solution installed on the car which streams only the required data back to the cloud for instance uh, some algorithms can be applied uh, locally on the connected car for instance uh, facial recognition where uh, the car would open up based on uh, recognizing your face so the example could be of the connected car data being streamed uh, back to the cloud for uh, driver behavior analysis once the data is made available on the platform it is typically stored for historical purpose the data is then filtered and streams of data are acted upon coupled with asset data which is a static data about the car like optimum temperature pressure of car tires which are required for condition based monitoring and alerting the driver and if you see the real value uh, about uh, the solution is not the platform and the technology because you could build this using open source uh, technologies like apache kafka uh, which you can use as a messaging platform apache spark as a streaming infrastructure but the real value is how are you analyzing the data quickly and what insights are you deriving from it and that's where you build and deploy machine learning models to learn from this data following is a general approach of developing a machine learning model the machine learning model uh, take uh, three inputs uh, historical data asset data and the runtime data the historical data would be the maintenance record of the car uh, the asset data uh, for a connected car would be uh, static data about the car like each car would have uh, different specifications uh, number of engine engine containers etc for the driver behavior analysis use case uh, this uh, would hold uh, permissible speed limits based on uh, gps coordinate and the third is the runtime data the actual data of the connected car and together all of these are used for predicting an outcome the first step in any machine learning process is to cleanse and normalize the data then train and evaluate iteratively to get the desired level of accuracy and deploy the model as a service which can be called as part of your application you can try out various uh, machine learning models like regression and classification or create an ensemble model to provide improved results from various machine learning models and this completes uh, one end to end flow 